and Blade Trinity. I have Machete, Blade, Saw, Saw 2. So I have a 1, 2, 3, 6. You have a 1, 1, 1, 2. Yeah. <laughs> I would have taken 6. I would have. But how many how many machete movies are there? Are there are three. Two. There's only the two. Yeah. I, I love the machete movies. I mean, they are. But just know that they're super, super, super low budget grindhouse based off a trailer. But they're fun, and I love Robert well, Rodriguez. Is can you compare it to something else? Because I've been I've always been very intrigued to watch them, but I always just fear that I'm going to regret how I spent my Saturday night. It's it's basically James Bond meets The Expendables, directed by Robert Rodriguez in full grindhouse mode. But you could not give me a specific movie that is of similar ilk. Of similar ilk. Of similar like is ilk. this is this like Planet Terror zany? Um, no. Or it's it's even sillier. It's not as stylized. It's very grungy. It's like a if Scott Adkins. If a Scott Adkins budget okay. was a spy movie. Okay. That's but not a spy. Like, if Scott Adkins was a grumpy murderer hired by the government to kill people. And one of his type of films. Does that make sense? Grumpy murderer. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I don't even know if that works, but... I, gonna... I need to, if, I, if I watch that, I need to watch it with somebody. I think that's yeah. what it is. Because that way, if it wasn't the right choice for me, I can still enjoy the the grindhouse like B moviness of it better. Hey. And not that I don't love B movies, right, and silly movies, but I, I'm just very skeptical about that one. I don't know why. There's something like whenever I see like the trailers, I'm just like, this could be wonderful, but what? it might it might be upsettingly bad for for my taste. I don't know. You're visiting soon. Well, okay, yeah, with with company, like again, like I can enjoy it. We Megan watched, loves the machete movie, so that we have some fun. We watched like sharks in Venice. We Megan, watched shark versus uh versus uh croc to croc a shark. Oh man, that was a gnarly movie. Is right that what there. that was? Casper Van remember. Dien just acting his face yeah. off. He just got to go to the Caribbean for a bit. Yeah, drink some rum and shoot for eight days, and then we <laughs> even get a little paycheck. But hey, man, thank you so much for joining me. I. I've really wanted to get just some saw. I just wanted to do a saw dump, and I'm, I'm very happy with this saw dump. Oh, you know me. I'm, I'm always ready to talk saw movies. I mean. But I think this is getting us ready for our franchise. But first, we have to do Reanimator, Dagon, Color Out of Space, and Tequila Listen, Sunrise. For our, for our Kurt Russell yeah, quarter. Yeah, for our 300th episode, mm -hmm. Tequila Sunrise. But yeah, so then then we can jump into Saw for post probably. I mean, we might even get it. To, I don't know. But yeah, so we got our our Lovecraft stuff, and then we have Tequila Sunrise, and then we can get to Saw. But that's good. I mean, then by by we'll have a nice buffer between this episode and those, and I think it'll be good. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for joining me, man. Of course. I just I feel lighter. I look. I'm I'm no lie. I don't know why I would lie, but I feel lighter now after unloading all of this from it's the good. courts of blood you expended from your choice <laughs> you know what's funny is that whenever i try and do a jigsaw voice it makes me think of like 200 episodes back when we would always do bane and batman impressions rah, rah, rah. and the in the bane impression like often had that weird uh, rah, rah. <laughs> evil never pays oh wait wait, wait. evil always pays oh wow, batman you're a cheap one <laughs> I've got a coupon. <laughs> well, thank you, dude. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, and you probably don't know, but make sure to follow John's Horror Corner on Instagram and Twitter for all of his. Follow him on Instagram and Twitter, but Instagram he posts really cool beer and movie pairings, and I love mm -hmm. those photos. Everyone but, always thinks it's it's all about wine and cheese. I'm doing beer and movies. Yeah, and Absolutely. he pairs them really well. So follow him on Instagram for that. You, you don't do those on Twitter, do you? No, it just it, the, I don't know why. It's like the audience is, is less about that. And I'll yeah. tell you something else. My movie review posts get a lot more love on Twitter. It's, it's just certain things fit the, the, the media differently. I love those pictures, though. So check out the movie reviews on Twitter and check out his Instagram for the wonderful beer pairings. But yeah, this is good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. So for me, Mark Hoffmeyer. Wait, for me, Mark Hacksaw Hoffmeyer. And for John Buzzsaw Levingood, 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Movies, Films, and Flicks. We'll see you next week. It didn't even sound like a buzzsaw.